Hi guys, Larissa here with May Arts Ribbons and I want to sh finish sharing with you my ideas on using your scraps of ribbon that you have and turning them into charms. Um, I wanted to share with you also that you can stamp on your little ribbon pieces. Um, I have found that the faux linen, um, and this is the orange faux linen, which is 3681537 and the um, silk ribbon really do stamp um, very well. Um, you get a really nice crisp image. Um, you want to make sure that you stamp with archival ink um, when you're stamping your ribbon so that you get a nice crisp image and so that it's permanent. Um, I'm going to stamp with the Stamping uh, Up Halloween stamp and I'm just going to press that right down onto the ribbon and look how crisp that is. I just really love the way that this ribbon stamps. Um, next I'm going to take some purple stickles and I'm just going to dot a little bit of that right onto the fabric on that star. And you don't need a whole lot, you just want a little bit to add some texture and to add some cute, just a cute little touch to your stamped image. Um, and then all you're going to do is take your charm and cover the whole back of it with glossy accents. You'll just cover the entire back of your clear piece, your fragment charm, and place it right over the top of your stamped image. And then you'll let it dry overnight and it just turns out so pretty. Um, that's what I did on this little charm here. I stamped and then I just stuck it right onto the charm and I love the way that it looks. So there's a close-up of how that looks. So crisp, so clean, just makes for a really cute little charm. Um, the next little charms that I want to share with you are these cute little vial charms. Um, I know that jute and burlap and um, twine are all really popular right now, so I wanted to share with you some ideas on using your little extra pieces after you do a project. Um, so all you're going to need is a little vial, and you can find um, lots of the different vials out there. Um, this is a little vial that I found at Hobby Lobby, and it already has the little um, eyelet screw in the top ready to go for a charm. If you want to use Tim Holtz's little bottles, um, all you're going to need is an eyelet screw, um, and that's what they look like. You can get them in several different sizes, but you can find them almost anywhere. Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby. You can find them at Joann's, Menard's. Um, Michael's, Ace Hardware Store, any place like that should have them. And they come in a package of like 20, I think, for like $1.75. So all you're going to do is take the top of your bottle, center your screw, and then you're just going to twist it and screw it right in there. Um, it doesn't take very much pressure and it doesn't take very long to just screw it right in there. Um, and I like to use the bigger ones on the bigger vials, and you can get the littler ones for the little vials. Um, the only thing is you're going to want to make sure that your top is center with the center of your bottle so that you have a center charm once you get done. Next, you're going to take your um, little scrap pieces, and I am using the red and the brown small burlap, which is SM14 is the red and SM33 is the brown and you're just going to make a little bow out of your little scrap pieces. Um, you can make it as big as you want or as little as you want depending on the look that you're going for for your charm. I like the little bitty ones myself so I'm going to just make a little bitty little bow here. Once you get it the way that you like it you're going to set it aside and take your silk ribbon and I'm using a little scrap piece of yellow silk ribbon, which is SK30, and it comes in um, an eighth of an inch, a fourth of an inch, and an inch, I believe, but there's a ton of different styles available. Um, so if you want to go to mayarts.com, you can check out all of the different colors and sizes that are available. I love this ribbon. I love to stamp on it. 
I love the way. And it, another thing that's big right now is the bias tape. And the silk kind of gives that feel of the bias tape without it being the bias tape. So once you get that done, you're going to take your glossy accents and you're going to just put a little dab right in the center of your little knot right there. And this is going to attach your little bow that you made. So you're just going to grab your bow and center it right on that glossy accents. And this will hold it right in place. And then you can trim up your little edges there. And you have a finished little charm. And then if you want, you can come back in with your jewelry pliers and add some extra little charms or blingage um, to dress up your charm a little bit. So I'm just going to come in here with a cute little dangle charm and close up my o-ring and then this will dangle down right in the center. Um, and then you can add the, a little closure. So I'm just going to use one of these little fish hook closures or jewelry closers. I don't know what the official name is for them. And voila! You have your cute little finished charm. And in order to make the labels, um, I have found that you can find this inkjet sticker project paper, um, and it comes in an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And all you need to do is take your stamp, and the stamp that I used is a Tim Holtz stamp from the Curiosities line. And you're going to want to use archival ink again. So you can ink up your stamp. This is the stamp that I'm going to use, the little label stamp. And you just take your sticker paper, you stamp your little label on there. And then I like to use Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So I'm going to come in with my Glimmer Mist and I'm using Sun Sisters. And I'm just going to spray right over the top of that. And that's another reason why you want to use the archival mist. Then you're going to come in and once that dries, you're going to cut the label out. And this is what you're going to get. And I like to ink the edges with my black archival ink. And then I've used a word sticker from the Girls Papery um, Margie line, Dreamer. And then all you're going to do is take off the backing of the sticker and stick it right onto your project, right onto your bottle. Um, and that'll give you your label sticker. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope that you'll go and check out the May Arts blog and the May Arts website at mayarts.com to check out all of the fabulous ribbons and all of the tutorials and videos and pictures that we have in our blog. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day.